Hello, everyone. We are watching Lost. Tom here. Storm here. Kimmy here. We were on episode 11 of season six. Shall we get into it? Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. Mr. Hume. My name is Zoe. I know you're disoriented. You've been unconscious. Where's my wife? Oh, no, wait, no. Miss, miss, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. I want to see Penny. I'm afraid that's not going to be possible, Desmond. Hello, Father. Where am I? Awkward. Where am I? You were shot by Benjamin Linus. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember. I brought you back to the island. Great. Thanks. I so damn it, can't I'm imagine punch you. how you must be feeling. But if you'll give me a chance to explain. It. Whoa! Holy crap! Wow! Jeez. The island isn't done with you yet. Oh, to even say that, like, how do you know? He's off for the island. The test is it like Saeed's test? <laughs> a Dharma symbol look a little different. Jurassic Park. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Shoot her! <laughs> Watch out for those raptors. Here we go. On my count, three, two, one. Engstrom, you're going in there next. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Poor little rabbits, always. Listen to his neck. There's a bad breaker on the Jenny. Bringing it back online now. No, no, no! Uh-oh. You gotta fire! Uh -oh. oh, crap! Let's see what happens! Oh, crap. Stop! Let's see what happened to him. I think he got stuck to it. A fly. What is he, a rabbit now? He just burned. Oh, he uh. doesn't even look at the man. So, ooh, that's the test. He's like, holy crap! He's like, oh, are you gonna do that? <laughs> Smoking. It's a yes. little test. <laughs> you say it as worse as possible. <laughs> he never cares that about guy. his workers. Stop. Oh my god. <gasps> wow! I know how this looks, Desmond. <laughs> It's for your own good. I'm going to ask you to make a sacrifice. And I hope for all our sakes you'll help me. Sacrifice? You're already forcing him to what, possibly Penny? die. Bloody hell, do you know about sacrifice? Yeah. Penny, your son, and everyone else will be gone forever. Ooh. Well, that was a crappy chair, huh? And I don't blame him. It's a big chance. Good luck. Only the one, not three. Crap. Close your eyes. Oh my god. Holy crap. Uh. Oh, great. In the in clouds. Heaven? <laughs> heaven? Yeah. It's kind of four. Oh, you know that? Hey, wait a second. Sorry. You're on the Sydney play, right? You got any more bags? No, uh, that's, that's it, thank God. Oh, I had a goal. Have, have you got someone meeting you? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know, maybe they got the whites messed up or something. It was nice meeting you. Yes. <laughs> a boy. What? Oh. Better some boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's right! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Oh, this way, please. You just pick a restaurant. Yeah. The room service of the hotel is excellent, thank you. He's like doing well for himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. <laughs> Charles. Hello, <laughs> Desmond. Huh. So they're on good terms. And he's yeah. Welcome for him. to Los Angeles, my friend. Thank you. What? Wow. A hug? What is this? This is so secret bizarre. handshake. <laughs> slap, slap, slap. It's opposite day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Big time. Yeah, because even Desmond's I acting so what he different. Did or how much it's going to cost? You heard of a band called? Drive shaft? <laughs> oh. oh. Their base guitarist overdosed and uh, got himself arrested. Oh, yeah. And now, if I don't get this junkie to my wife's event, she will simply put destroy me. 
Uh. You want me to babysit him? No family, no commitments. Ah, to be free of attachments. Hmm. Well, last man, sir. Nothing's too good for you. <laughs> oh the my island. god, this my. is weird. <laughs> Mr. Hume? That's right. Got your work cut out for you. I know, and they had such a good moment together. Watch out, you're gonna get hit! Uh oh! He doesn't even care, he wants to die! He tried to kill himself before, too. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. So, what's your job then? To babysit me? What are you? Mr. Whitmore's chief lackey? Are you happy? <laughs> Quite? No, you're not. I wasn't aware the love looked like anything. I've seen it, mate. On the plane back from Sydney, went to the lab, proceeded to eliminate the evidence by swallowing my stash. <laughs> I see her. Oh. A woman. Oh, it's gonna be clear. Yeah. Aww. And just as I'm about to be engulfed by it, I open my eyes. Poor suicidal rock star. But I've seen something real. I've seen the truth. Charles Whitmore, one of the most powerful men in this town, will owe you a fever. Doesn't really seem like a choice. It's always a choice, brother. It's <laughs> a song. <laughs> That's my band. <laughs> Drive shaft. Feel sorry for you, mate. You think you're happy? You think you got it all? This. Why in God's name would I want to get out? <gasps> he's gonna do it to you. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he wants to get out. Oh my Holy God! God he's going right in the water. What is what? Oh or death? God. Yeah, near death or death. I drowned once, I drowned again. He just wants again. to go back. No way. It's like the same thing that happened before. Yeah. Now we can save him. Oh, no. Oh, Penny's now Penny's boat. boat. He's remembering that. See, it is. You're right, Tom. It's crossing over. Yeah. He remembers that. And he's going to die the same freaking way. <laughs> These guys are still just standing there. Did you call anyone? Hopefully. <laughs> Get their phones out to record instead. They're not even down there helping them. Right, at least I know you think people going. would have ran over there by now. I know. Like, get off the it. damn yacht. There were people on the dock. Like, I know. Go? <laughs> Let's record this for TikTok. <laughs> Hallucinations, seeing things that aren't there. Any metal inside of your body? Pacemakers, pins. This bullets, is just like when he was doing that test. No. Yeah, it's a big MRI. I see you didn't listen to emergency contact. 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes. I heard it was long. I've had CAT scans, but not freaking MRI. Oh my god. Yeah, I this is our people are claustrophobic. <laughs> Did you freak out? Oh. Don't freak out. Hey! Hey, let me help you Hey! I need to see him. Sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. It's so weird hey, he didn't even Jack. say anything. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, he found him. Hello. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you're such an instigator. Oh, here's a cart. What are you looking for me? Who's Penny? Who's Penny? All that matters is that we felt it. You so try he's going to be the bridge. Look. And you let him go? He's a junkie who drove my car into the ocean, Charles. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. <laughs> and I'm thrilled you survived, Desmond. When I give you a job to do, I expect you to do it. Oh boy. <laughs> no, no, he's not going to be in his favor. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe he'll meet Penny. It's Daniel's mom, right? Oh boy. She's pissed off about a knife. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Whitmore? Yes. My name is Desmond Hume. 
the music. <laughs> the music. So, uh, what crisis forced Charles to send his best fix-it man into the bowels of charity balls? I suppose if one employs so-called rock stars, certain unpredictability comes with the territory. Thank you. What is she going to do? I know. <laughs> Marquee Mary plus one. Milton Penny hmm. solo. Oh, Penny. Penny. Solo. Excuse me. Uh, I heard that name. Sorry. No, I'm entrusted with confidential items. Are okay. you questioning me? I know. It's really none of your business. No, I just want to look at one name on that list. And if for some reason that's a come with me. Yeah, she wants oh. to keep it separate because she knows. I've heard what you've had to say. Now you listen to me. I want you to stop. You need to stop looking for it. You're gonna ruin the reality. And that's Penny. How do you know uh, what I want? You're my conscience. I bloody do. That bad, huh? <gasps> there he has. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Hume. It is. <laughs> my name is Daniel. Daniel Whitmore. I'll tell you. We need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see him back in a way. Uh, um, look, if, if this is about Charlie Pace not being able to perform with you, I'm get Claire there. I'm very sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. She has these incredible blue, blue eyes, red hair. It was say red hair. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I saw, I woke up and I wrote this. Okay, imagine, imagine something terrible about to happen, something catastrophic. And the only way to stop it from happening is by releasing a huge amount of energy. What if this wasn't supposed to be our life? I don't want to set off in a clear bomb, Mr. Young. Phew. <laughs> I think I already did. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to do it again. Why did you ask my mother about a woman named Penny? And how did you know about that? You felt love. That's impossible because I don't know anything about this woman. She's my half sister. Mm hmm. What? And I can tell you exactly where and when you can find her. <laughs> it's like all these connections, too, you know? Brother? It's like, yeah, he's a piece and all together. Plot like, thickens. Yeah. That's where he was running with Jack. Yep. Weird Unless she was having dreams too or something. Boo. Hello. Good to cool. Not awkward at all. Oh my god, the poor guy. The body's still intact. He's not half as fried as the other guy. He's okay. How long was I unconscious for? No more than a few seconds. Hmm. You told me you brought me here to the island to do something very important. Yeah. When do we start? Do we know more? I want to know. So he sacrifices to kill himself to do something like this, but more extreme? <laughs> <laughs> to merge both realities? A lot can happen in 20 minutes. Hmm. Just like a lifetime. That thing fried your brain. Doesn't change. <gasps> oh, oh crap! Who's that? Oh, it's Saeed. Oh, it's Saeed. Oh my God! Ron took a shoot in the dark. Desmond, I don't have time to explain, but these people are extremely dangerous. So am I. Oh, we need no. to go now. Oh, he's like he knows. Oh, look, he's like all enlightened now and stuff. Maybe he's just going along. He knows he's bad. I think he knows he's bad now. Well, I shook your hand and then you fainted. I must have quite an effect on you. Hi. <laughs> 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 to say the least. Hey, listen, um, would you like to go for a coffee? What now? I'll meet you there in an hour. Absolutely. He feels it. He's so happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. And Dan. 
Coda Melrose and Suiza, please. You got it. And if there's anything else I can do for you, Mr. Hume, you just name it. Can you get me the manifest for my flight from Sydney? Oceanic A15. Just the names of the passengers. Sure I can. Do you mind if I ask you what you need it for? <laughs> I just need to show them something. <laughs> it's very interesting. He's like, whoa. <laughs> I know so much now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. And now he's in the hands of C. He, he must be the, uh, the bridge then between the two realities. That's it. Yeah, because now he's actually making the stronger connection where Charlie was the one who instigated it from the start. So I thought he was going to be the bridge, but he was the one that motivated Desmond, and so did Dan. Dan well, connected Charlie, things more. Charlie, can, he understands that, but he doesn't have a connection in the other reality anymore because he's dead right. in the other reality. Right. Yeah. He so, actually did do the same death thing, too, he where he was did, drowning. And, and that was, yeah, that's what that was That was the key, I that think. Was that the was the click. The, that, yeah. Yeah. But he also had memories of Claire, you know? Yes, so I did. am, I do have hope. I know sometimes with shows, it sucks when you have a death of someone you really care about and then they come back and it kind of uh, diminishes the tragedy a little bit. But um, not always, but anyways. I would like them to come back and be fine. So I, I want Charlie too. to be there. I mean, it was great I just to see him. <laughs> yeah. In this, whatever. Can you imagine if Shannon came back too? I know she stayed in this reality. She stayed with mm -hmm. her abusive uh, boyfriend or something. But maybe that would bring Saeed back too. I mean, he has Nadia as well. But maybe you can have both. Shannon and Nadia. He's a little evil now. <laughs> so you can have both girls. <laughs> Here, feel better. <laughs> but it's I don't just... think there's anything pulling him back. I think yeah. I think Desmond Desmond understands that you know he has to go with Saeed. I don't know if he truly knows that Saeed is dark right now. I but, uh, think he did. I, I think mean, he, he knows that something two has guys to happen. Told her to go. He's had a gunpoint. Yeah, I really think his his enlightened look now of like ah, like at least it's a positive look and not like ah, so much stress. <laughs> I know too much now. But yeah, I think he knows or has a feeling that well, like. He knows he's also he's evil. also realizing that you know Charlie was on his flight, Jack was on his flight. Mm -hmm. You know he we saw him early for a second. Now. Yeah, so he's so. going to be the actual bridge. Like uh, I really thought Charlie was, but yes. Yeah, so he gave him he planted the seed, and then Dan found you know physically found um, Penny of course for him, and yeah, so he's going to be the bridge now. And I wonder, I don't remember, uh, was he one of the chosen ones, the, one of the candidates? I don't think so. I don't remember seeing his name on the list. I don't list. remember that either. Yeah, we did know was. all of them. You guys wrote it down for us, too, but well, I forgot. See, I didn't write it down. They, uh, Charles said that he has to make a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what that sacrifice is going to be, which I wouldn't be surprised if, since he's now enlightened in both realities. Yeah. He might have to sacrifice one of himself in order for it to actually come together kind of thing. Yeah, I feel like he is going to be the one that brings both realities together. And the way that Whitmore is saying, which we've heard before by the man in black, um, or I don't remember exactly how it was said, but when... Um, you know, we saw that episode with Jacob in the man in black and, you know, breaking that wine bottle or whatnot... And uh, if he leaves the island, everyone is dead. Everyone's gone. That's what we heard, right? So here Widmore is saying that he's saying everyone's gone. So I think he also is trying to stop the man in black I, from escaping, of course. Yeah, so, I, so I, I think what he means by everyone is gone, I think he means everyone from that reality is gone. And everything that's happened on, you know, all that progress that they've made as an individual on the, on the island and stuff is, is wiped out. And just the reality that's left in you know los angeles is all that's left so they're not going to be the same people that they are now and unfortunately yeah. that sacrifice is probably desmond has to do something in that reality he has to give up something probably not not ever connecting with her just have the memories of her and this you know now that he's back on the island just have the memories of her Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe that. I mean, that's a hard sacrifice, too, you know, because he was so He has so to sacrifice something, and it's going to be a big one. 
I feel like he's going to sacrifice his life, but yeah, maybe... I think it's going to be... I think his island version is going to be the sacrifice... Oh, because okay, that's yeah. where Widmore said the sacrifice. You know, he has to make a sacrifice. True. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. There's a lot of dark beings now. You got Dark Clary, you got Dark uh, Saeed, and you got Dark Locke. Mm-hmm. You know, who's that really there, Locke so. though? That is the it's man not. in black. Yeah, yeah I, know. I know. It's but you have all those dark entities on the island, which I think needs to be stopped in order for the bridge to actually happen. Mm-hmm. And now that he had this other reality with Charles really loving him, like his that was he is he was his right hand man there. Yeah. Which was mm. so bizarre in mm-hmm. and of itself. So now he he might be okay where yes, you haven't seen your grandson, you haven't seen your daughter in a long time, you've never met your grandson. Yes, now you can have them back. So that's a huge sacrifice, but only if he saw you know, that other reality being close to Charles, would he come to the, you know, realization that he can do that for him? And why do you think uh, Eloise was trying to, like, stop him from, you know, continuing looking for Penny? Because she thought it was too early. He wasn't, he wasn't ready, ready it wasn't, yet. He wasn't ready yet. I'm curious on what that means, too, because mm-hmm. as we know, we saw early on in the series as well, when she interacted with Desmond, like, she just is like an oracle type person. Mm-hmm. Like she just knows all about it. Her and missions. to be in this reality and to know full on what's going on. You can tell that she fully but, knows. You know, it's, it's interesting you brought up the oracle because I kind of had that same thought, mm-hmm. like, you know, the oracle from the Matrix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, did I actually, you know, am I telling you you're not ready or did I just tell you what you needed to hear? Yeah. So she, thing. So she's like everything she's not just in a separate reality like she probably can kind of control the oh, reality yeah. she's part of i don't something. think she can control but i think she can guide yeah she can guide yeah because uh she Cause totally that's how knows she was before and she's very bossy and everyone's afraid of her and that <laughs> and she was nice even <laughs> charles very bossy yes exactly and she was I'm nice to desmond wife, she's gonna destroy me <laughs> and even in that moment when desmond showed up like i felt like she kind of thought she'd see him soon but she was surprised to see him that fast because she was like oh and she was kind of um you know, trying to act normal, but she was more pleasant. So if it was a normal person that wasn't Desmond, she probably would be really nasty. Like she was bossy. Right. But I think and she was still pretty right. friendly considering. Well, she started getting kind of um, aggravated when he started prying into. Oh, yeah. The Penny Penny's thing. Name. Yes, because it wasn't that. That's wasn't where she had to draw the yeah. line. But beforehand, yeah. she probably can make things work where drive shafts somehow will still come. Because mm. she was pissed off at everything, you know, mm. the knife position, the flower, the floral arrangements. I mean, she's very, very precise on what she wants. And for him to say, "Oh, I'm sorry," and Charles said, "You know, she's it's going to destroy. She's going to destroy me if if he doesn't come." She must be able to manipulate for him to still come yeah. in some way. Maybe bringing Claire to the concert so he'll come. Yeah, you know well, something. I, but in, also, she drew um, that line with Penny though. The uh, the interaction with uh, with Daniel uh, was kind of interesting because you know in yeah. this reality, obviously he's alive, but he's a musician. Exactly, not a, not a, he had not a no genius idea. So much. Yes. Yeah, he didn't know anything about the. Well, he wanted to be a musician. A musician, remember? Yes, like he um, was wonderful. And his mom pushed it and said, "No, you got to do this instead. Right. You got to be a scientist or whatever." And yeah, right. Know, but then coming up with those college, those uh, college, computations equations, that he had yes, no idea where they equations, were. Yes. Yeah, but so see, it shows the different realities are combining. Well, yeah, so it shows that, you know, but if you look at, you know, the two interactions that Desmond have with people who have died in the other reality. Yeah. Right, like George even. He was right. from the submarine. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, the people he's having the most connection with are people who have died in the other reality. Mm-hmm. But they seem to have the most awareness of the other reality, even though they're not still alive in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's actually quite interesting. Yeah, and Daniel's saying, you know, I I don't want to set off a nuclear bomb, but I think know. I already did. Anyways, yeah, remember so. that whole like <laughs> <laughs> terror? Yeah, it's just like having so much faith to blow up, you know, something too or bury it. Um, yeah, I love the whole concept of it, and it sounds so crazy, but just 
the experiences that we've seen on this show, even though it sounds nuts, you're kind of like, oh, that is intriguing. And anything's possible at this point because we saw like everything, it time is. travel and smoke monster creature and guy who can live for a very long time. Well, speaking of the smoke monster creature, when um, when they started up the electromagnetic um, device on the island the first time. Yeah. Was the first time was when, with Desmond. Well, one of the times I started it up, you kind of heard that smoke monster sound effect for just like a couple seconds. What do you mean with with um the guy from the beginning that got burned? I don't remember if it was the first time they they started it up by accident and they killed that guy, or if it was the second time with Desmond. I but for I thought I heard it for just like a couple oh, seconds. Oh, I didn't hear it. I it sounded similar. It could be um it could be it, but I do remember you saying it. I think it was when Desmond was in there. I think I think it was when Desmond did it, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um and there could be a connection there because I remember early on, I think it was with Echo where the smoke monster was checking him out and was flashing. We saw photos yes. that were very fast about I guess his life. Mm. Um so I kinda think that he might be some kind of quantum being that can you know, um, well, I mean, oh, Saeed wasn't yeah. too far outside. He their wasn't compound, too far, so exactly. That he could have been so in that, that area. Could have been, yeah, some, you know, sending Saeed back there. I mean, it could have just been a coincidence that I heard something similar to it, but I mean, I I heard it right away. I'm like, whoa, it sounds too familiar. Yeah, yeah. Saeed got the package. Yeah, he did get Desmond. Yeah, so I'm really nervous about that whole scenario, but um, I know Saeed's going bad, and he didn't help Kate out, so I think he will go beyond yeah. to hurt Desmond if he has to, which I hope he doesn't. And But he wasn't ordered to, you just say, get the package, right? Or right, you just say, destroy it? I thought he said, destroy but destroy. I guess, get it or something. Now, going back to El Louise, um, you know, why do you think she wanted um, that band to be there? You know, why did she want Charlie to be there? I was going to say, she probably needs Charlie for something. Charlie for yeah. Dan. She probably needs like them all together because before, but, right? Yeah, they couldn't get everyone together. Yeah, and she's like all in time or something. Like she wasn't too freaked out about it because, from what I remember, she was kind of confident that eventually they'll all make it there because they all have to be there to make it work or something. So I think she's still trying to get people back to the island, even those who have. Yeah, because if if she got Charlie to play at that event. Then that means Daniel, Desmond, and Charlie all would have been there. Mm-hmm. You know, and Penny, because Penny was on the list. So that would have been, well, she wasn't on the plane, though, but, you know, she's still part of the she equation, I think. Yeah, because she didn't want, um, Eloise did not want um, Desmond there because Penny is not meant for the island and she'll throw off Desmond True. from going to True. the island. He'll so, make him do the wrong thing. Thing that she needs him to do yeah so she has like this whole equation or something of purpose for everyone and that's why she yes. wanted charlie there so her just dismissing it to desmond i think it's because she didn't want him there at that time and was just trying or, to keep but, it easy then again then again what if that was just a mind game she was playing you know i'm telling you what you need to hear don't pursue penny kind of makes him wants to pursue penny Maybe you, you never know. I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think case, so. I think he was really hungry to to know to know something about Penny and just to hear a, you know, her name, which is a an unusual name, really. It's like wow, what are, what are the odds of this happening, you know? And then you have Jack. Well, yeah, well, that's why it's kind of like you know you're hearing these hallucinations that from an accident he just had. So. Maybe you're trying to decide if it's a hallucination or if it's actually something more meaningful. And for then her to be getting more, you know, stern about it and be like, you know, don't worry about her. I don't want, you know, that's confidential and all that stuff. Maybe it's just, to me, it kind of feels like it's pushing him more to go find this this penny because why is everybody, you know, why am I seeing all this stuff and now I'm being told to not pursue her? What's right, going on? Right, even at the hospital when the nurse said, I can't tell you it's confidential. And that's true. You can't, you know, disclose any information on people. But yeah. it's like almost repetitive. You know, like when he was going into the MRI, do you have any metal on you? Do you have any, you know? I know, just like Because that's a normal yeah. thing they would say. But just like before when he was being tied up, do you have any metal on you? But if someone yeah. came in and yeah, be like, of course I mean, not, you, you, and not, and not like a tech, that's just rude. I mean, it's if like, you think what? about it, the, the MRI is an electromagnetic machine on a smaller mm-hmm. scale than that mm-hmm. one of the islands. So it was kind of the same 
you know, it's interesting. Jab jab. So you have um, you have to have like a near death experience, but thank goodness not always, um, or something that resembles an experience they went through, or sleeping. Mm-hmm. In Daniel's case, like he he slept and then thought of. Well, Charlotte. see, I think it's I want to say it's a near death experience because when Charlie was explaining when he choked on that bag of heroin, yeah, yeah, saw that um, was one near death, and that and then the drowning was a near death. But well, yeah, but it was a near death, but. Remember when um, when Charlie the first time he almost uh, he almost overdosed. No, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a, it's a similar, yeah. So a similar right. action. Yeah. So um, a near death experience is one of them. But Dan just slept and then made that equation, and then you have True. Desmond in the MRI machine, and it's similar to what happened to him on the island. So it's not just near death. Maybe it's just for Charlie. Who knows? Maybe everyone has a different experience, and unfortunately, just something that just <laughs> Charlie triggers. Gets the you worst. just don't yeah. know what the trigger is, you know? Yeah, because I mean, Charlie kind of knew that how he got his trigger was a near death experience because he choked. Mm-hmm. Maybe he figured doing it again would would work, and it did. Yeah, he's like, you don't have but to it, do that it, for But it, it happened to be the same way that uh, Charlie died in the other reality. So it's kind of not necessarily a near death, but a similar incident that occurred between the two of them yeah yeah and then when he when desmond went into the mri i thought he was he already said no i'm not going to have the mri i'm going to go and look for the man i was with and then we see him in the mri room you know well, and then that, she said she said you're not going anywhere until we look at your brain so yeah that's so what the nurse said i think I'm you mentioned it, when he, yeah when he was like um do you uh like did you see any hallucinations or whatever and um, and then you mentioned something about like oh is Charlie did he even really have Charlie with him is, is he like exactly because everyone crazy? was like looking at him like you know so I was like, oh, yeah I, I thought I thought that it. maybe Charlie I, I was think, the hallucination yeah I thought he didn't even you know have him there yeah yeah you know now we're seeing all the characters like more of the main characters interact in this other reality and even Jack and he said oh he was he's here too he was on the plane like they were making those connections so now mm-hmm. that. Jack knows that as well. I kind of wonder if he's going to start getting like curious. Well, see, Jack might be, Jack might be a little bit stronger than Charlie and Daniel because he's got he's still alive in both realities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he might be able to, you know, understand more like Desmond is starting to now. Mm-hmm. What about you Boone? Know, so- Let's bring Boone back too. Then, like, what the heck? He should come in as well. <laughs> well I mean, he's he, like, he, I've been he, dead the longest time. I might guys. Be Claire again. <laughs> At some point. Yeah. I mean, I love the idea of love and how Charlie talking about Claire. I love that scene Mm -hmm. where he's just like, oh, you know, and it was. Mm -hmm. And when he first started talking about her, I was like trying to remember that scene when he was choking and Jack saved him. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. did he see Claire at that moment? Because it's such a tight spot. Yeah, I didn't think he did. Yeah. So it was because he crossed over and he was Mm -hmm. actually seeing glimpses of memories from the island life. He had the same vision that Desmond had, but about Claire instead of Penny. Yeah, his own life, you know. His own love of Claire. Mm -hmm. But he didn't actually see Claire on the plane because he he was looking at Kate and the Mm -hmm. Marshall. Yep, I remember that. You know, and that's what freaked him out. Oh, love interest just changes your... (laughs) perspective on everything yeah. love is the glue of life yeah i love it it's such a pure idea and desmond and penny are just so great in this show and yeah well, so I i'm mean, kind of thinking his death or that's going to be a sacrifice or a bigger i mean death is god it's blast it's terrible but i'm thinking a more epic de- or like epic sacrifice for him is to um, separate him from Penny, like he loses his life. Like not even having from Penny, like yeah, in the I don't think that, I think the sacrifice is going to be more uh, streamlined, where it's going to be his life. He's got to sacrifice his life. I'm thinking his island life to stop the um, the darkness that's growing. Yeah, and it's in his other reality uh, self that is just starting to find out from Penny and all that is going to be the his new his re- replacement i guess i want to say yeah. his, his his only life his only reality yeah the only reality that actually you know stays through and maybe I, I truly think, be finally see the way I, the way i'm seeing this whole thing is like people who have died on the island could have another chance to be alive again with their life from the other reality mm-hmm. although charlie's life isn't the greatest you know um boone's life is totally different because he he didn't actually save 
uh, his sister the way he did before because mm-hmm. she's still living over in Sydney with yeah you know, her he, abusive boyfriend and stuff. Him. And um, so I mean, there are some similarities, or uh, there are some uh, different lives that are, are occurring in the other reality. So it's not going to be exactly the same. But I'm hoping at least if we can, uh, you know, since Charlie sees what the other reality, a glimpse of what the other reality was like, maybe that'll change him if he does get to relive his life. Yeah. Maybe he can start. So many possibilities. Uh, The show is so easy to talk about because we just theorize. Like, there's just so many fun theories. And, um, yeah, I mean, we only have so many episodes left. So I just, I like this season because I feel like like more satisfied where you like we're getting closure you know i mean mm-hmm. i always get sad at the end of a series but i feel like we're getting more i mean a lot more questions but i feel like we're going to get more closure hopefully see the only only person that i just i just don't know is uh like i know Locke is still alive in the other reality but he's dead in the island reality um i just but because his his presence i guess is is dark you know is dark lock Mm -hmm. i don't know if that's going to screw up anything with with his reality or if it's because he's not technically lock if that's just gonna i'm gonna i have no idea but i'm just gonna say probably not because he can also take the form of jack's father he's taken other forms before this one's more physical now he can't get out of it you know maybe because now the man in black is stuck as physical lock so he he's you know, and he can't escape that. So it might be more connected now. I don't know. And I'm assuming that people who are dead in both realities are going to stay dead. Okay. Well, probably, you know, but I'm going to just be like drawn vision and be like drawn land and be like, they're going to come back and be well, alive I mean, on the island at, and live at, happily ever after. Well, look ah! at Jack's father. That's where I got the from. <laughs> well, look, at, look at Jack's father. Mm-hmm. He's dead in both realities. Mm-hmm. So I don't think he's coming back, you know, alive. You know what I mean? Yeah. So many questions, guys. <laughs> so right. we'll find out hopefully soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. My brain hurts. <laughs> and Ooh. mine was very soon, listening. as always. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. That's the only way I can stop too it. Hard. <laughs>